Good morning, students. My name is Abdul Shakir. Today in this class, we will discuss about Green's theorem problem. The problem is apply Green's theorem to evaluate integral over c 2x square minus y square dx plus x square plus y square dy. Where the reason is given as c is the boundary area enclosed by the x-axis and upper half of the circle x square plus y square equal to a square. So to get the line integral over c, we have to compute the double integral over s dou q upon dou x minus dou p upon dou y with respect to x and y. Because we are using here Green's theorem. In Green's theorem, left hand side single integration over C is a transformer to right hand side double integral over S. To evaluate the single integral over C PDX plus QDY, it is enough to evaluate double integral over S dou Q upon dou X minus dou P upon dou Y. For this, we need P and Q so that the problem is compared with integral over C PDX plus QDY where P is a 2x square minus y square, which is a differentiated partially with respect to y. And Q is x square plus y square, which is differentiated parted partially with respect to x. So to get dou P upon dou y, 2x square derivative is clearly 0 minus y square derivative 2 minus 2y. Dou Q upon dou x, differentiating Q partially with respect to x, keeping y as constant. So x square derivative to 2x, we know that derivative of constant is always 0, so y square derivative is 0. So these are the values of dou p upon dou y and dou q upon dou x. Now to evaluate this double integral, we need limits. So here for the semicircle, only above the x, 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 x dash part of the semicircle, clearly x varies as minus a to plus a. And for y limits, we have to draw a strip which is drawn parallel to y axis. Here, clearly, the lower part of the strip is touches to the x axis so that y value is 0. And upper part of the strip touches to the curve that is a circle. The circle equation is x square plus y square equal to a square. So y square is a square minus x square and y is plus or minus root of a square minus x square. So here we have to consider y as positive because y limit is taken in positive quadrant. So y is root of a square minus x square. So x limits are minus a to plus a and y limits are as 0 to root of a square minus x square. Substituting these values in the right hand side of the Green's theorem and evaluating the double integration first with respect to y and then x. While integrating with respect to y, we have to keep x as a silent. So x is silent, one integration is y. For second term, y integration is y square by 2. Here we have to integrate first with respect to y because y limits are variable limits in terms of x. We have to give, give the preference for variable limits. And then applying with integration with respect to x. So here the integration for a second term, clearly the integrand is an even function, so it will be 2 into 0 to a. The first integral clearly becomes 0 because odd into even is odd. The first integral value clearly becomes 0. Or the problem is evaluated by the substitution also. So here we can substitute x equal to a sin theta or dx equal to a cos theta d theta and changing the limits, we can get the result. So clearly first integral value is 0. The second integral value is 2 into integral 0 to a because the integrand is even function. Evaluating like this, substituting upper limit as a and lower limit as 0. Clearly the solution is 4a cube by 3 is the required answer. Thank you.